have responsibility, Terry. We did not have any accountability for what was going on there, and we should have. This is ridiculous. You're going to ask me in the middle of the thing when they've already breached the, the uh, inaugural stuff that, that uh, uh, should we call the Capitol Police? I mean, the uh, National Guard? Why weren't the National Guard there to begin with? They thought that they had sufficient resources. No, there's not a question of how they had been. They don't know. They clearly didn't know, and I take responsibility for not having them just prepare for more. All right, y'all. We are back with another video, and here we go again with this corrupt liar, Nancy Pelosi. You know, the, the woman that finally confessed that the whole J6 situation was her fault, but she tried to blame it on Donald Trump, just like the rest of the left is. And now... This woman done broke even more rules because she thinks she's above everybody when Nancy Pelosi is the one that should be in jail. This woman should have been in jail. All the things she have done. And then she finally come out and confess that it was her fault, not Donald Trump's. And so this one right here is coming by Doug. I will leave the original video in the description. Make sure y'all go to Doug's channel and let him know that I sent you. He said, Congress calls out Pelosi. In the new J6 resolution. Now I'm hearing that she even some broke some rules with Kevin when Kevin McCarthy was speaker. So there's a lot of more information coming out. But it always seems like the Dems, they did they never get put in jail. Nobody from that side, it seemed like they never get put in jail. None of them. And it is just sickening that all they do is sit around, lie on Donald Trump, and try to get him put in jail. So we definitely finna go ahead and check this out because like I said, it does not look good for Nancy Pelosi. So like I said, make sure y'all please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with everything that's going on. Shout out to everybody who always watches until the very end. Thank you very much for that. I really, really appreciate it. We on the road to 700,000 subscribers. So if you are new, please hit that subscribe button. Come join the family. I would really, really appreciate it. Without further ado, Let's dive straight into this. Let's go. There's a new House resolution proposed. It's going to reverse the findings on the subpoenas for Steve Bannon, Peter Navarro, mm -hmm. Mark Meadows, and Dan Scavino, who were hunted by J6. And they go into the whole J6 committee, Adam Kinzinger, Liz Cheney, about how immoral and how politically motivated it was. We're going to read the documents yep. to you. These are official government documents. First presented by our favorite gal, Julie Kelly. Love Julie Twitter. Kelly. Welcome to Doug in Exile. This is where the happy patriots are. This is a, a, a kind of a pushback on um, Merrick Garland being held in contempt of Congress. So these are other people in, who were held but in contempt of Congress and sent to jail. And then Merrick Garland is not sent to jail. So this is the pushback. Let's read. Here's the first one, Julie Kelly. Here's part of the new resolution declaring the J6 Select Committee illegitimate mm. and seeking to rescind subpoenas for Steve Bannon, Peter Navarro, Mark Meadows, and Dan Scavino. The resolution also asks Congress to nullify the vote to hold all four in contempt of Congress. Here's the actual legal document. It is the sense of the House of Representatives that the select committee to investigate the January 6th attack on the United States Capitol was illegitimate, that the conclusions and findings presented were predetermined due to the committee's partisan nature. Now, this is no different than picking a jury where you don't want political partisanship to make the ultimate decision. And that's what this is claiming happened. And yep. that the courts should set aside any convictions or commute any sentences stemming from contempt reports issued by the select committee. That is, number two, the subpoenas issued on September 23rd, 2021, October 6th, 2021, and February of 2022 for Stephen Bannon, Mark Meadows, Daniel Scavino Jr. and Peter Navarro are hereby rescinded if they agree to this. Okay. Part three, uh, House Resolution 730, recommending that the House of Representatives find Stephen Bannon in contempt of Congress adopted in 2021 is withdrawn, dismissed, and otherwise ended and concluded without further proceedings or enforcement. House Resolution 1037, recommending that the House representatives find Peter Navarro. That's just going through the individual names. Okay, 
Now, let's go to the second part of this. This is um, the resolution is sponsored by Rep. Eric uh, Burleson. Here's now I'll show you a picture of him. I just uh, put up a quick okay. picture of his Twitter here, Eric Burleson, just so you can see what he looks like. Because I haven't heard of him before. So as I learn, you guys learn. So far, the resolution has 24 GOP co-sponsors, including Thomas Massey, MTG Green, Andy Biggs, Jim uh, Banks, and uh, Anna Paulina Luna out of Florida. We need every GOP vote to make this happen. Just a few issues with the J6 committee are detailed here. And this is the final part of our document. This one's kind of wordy, but it tells you everything you need to know about what they're getting at here by all these whereases. So if they can get them to agree to this, the Republicans to agree to this, whereas a select committee was deficient in its composition. So this is the very makeup of yeah. a committee that's supposed to be always be bipartisan. Okay. House Resolution 503, the resolution establishing the committee stated, quote, the speaker shall appoint 13 members to the select committee, five of whom shall be appointed after consultation with the minority leader, that would be Kevin McCarthy. Yeah. Whereas Speaker Pelosi refused to seat Republican members named by minority leader Kevin McCarthy to the select committee, resulting in a solely partisan exercise determined to vilify President Trump and his advisors for the January 6th breach on the U.S. Capitol. So just by this right here is just crazy, man. Nancy Pelosi. See, that's the thing. What I don't like about this is that they never do nothing to their side. Why Merrick Garland ain't in jail? What about those audios tapes, Merrick? What are yet? It's like they side never go to jail. I would ask y'all, do y'all think they're going to lock up Nancy Pelosi? Do y'all think Nancy Pelosi going to be in the courtroom? Obviously, this woman thinks she can just do whatever she wants, get away with anything she want to get away with. And it was at the time that Kevin McCarthy was in there. Now, li now li listen to this right here again. Whereas Speaker Pelosi refused to seat Republican members named by Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy to the select committee resulting in a solely partisan exercise determined to vilify President Trump and his advisors for the J6 breach of the U.S. Capitol. She refused. And I told you before, she feel like she can just do anything she wants. She's another one that just, just, just walks around, go on these shows, lie on Donald Trump like she always do, just like she lied on him about this J6 situation. And then come to find out she was recording, admitting everything. She admitted everything. I'm telling you, all these people do is lie, but yet people like Nancy Pelosi get to stay out and just do whatever she wants, but they want to lock Donald Trump up for anything he say or do. They want to say something about putting him in jail, but these people get to walk around free. It's just ridiculous. By design, in Pelosi disobeying Kevin McCarthy, she broke their own rules. Exactly. Whereas Speaker Pelosi refused to uh, the selections of Minority Leader McCarthy and named only representatives Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger to the select committee. Those are the only two uh, Republicans leaving the committee with nine members rather than the required 13. Wow. So once again, they broke their own rules. They yep. could not get any Republicans but Adam Kinzinger and Liz Cheney. And we already know this is like selecting a jury based on your politics. Yeah, We already know what their conclusion was going to be before yep. they even joined the committee. Mm. And then it just became a, a witch hunt. And this is not how you want to run your government. Nope. If it is, then when we put together select committees against Nancy Pelosi, how will she feel having uh, nine hardcore Republicans uh, going against her and two Democrats that already agree with the preposition against her? Whereas you the, already know so, Nancy Pelosi wanted all Democrats. She don't want nobody from Donald Trump's side. So she was refusing to do that, to do her job that she's supposed to be done, refused to do it. This woman is pathetic. Elect uh, committee held hearings, issued subpoenas and published a flawed report without the number of uh, members required by House Resolution 503. So it's already illegal by their claim. Whereas shortly before hearings begun, the select committee named Representative Cheney as, quote, vice chair and operated without a ranking minority member. Remember, this is all the press and all the media. 
Nancy Pelosi kept underlining, this is a bipartisan committee. This is a bipartisan yeah. committee. It was anything but, you know, bipartisan would mean your partisanship. Some would be for Trump uh, and some would be against. Otherwise, it's monopartisan. Whereas the position of vice chair is distinct and different from a ranking minority member as clearly understood by House Rules Conference and caucus rules and precedent. So even naming her vice chair, they'd have to replace her with yet another person to be mm -hmm. part of the committee. Whereas House Resolution 503 specifically required the chair of the select committee to, quote, consult with the ranking minority member, unquote, in certain circumstances. Whereas House Resolution 503 included the requirement that the chair of the select committee could only issue a subpoena, quote, upon consultation with the ranking minority member. This is just going into how all of the unfairness of it has been spelled out now. Mm -hmm. And now the Republicans, regardless of what this committee came up with, this is not about if you agree with their conclusion, that would be, that's just rank partisanship, but also it is pragmatism when you have a preferred end and then you'll cheat by all the means getting up mm -hmm. to that end. That's what Democrats do. So we is it nice to say that, that uh, Nancy Pelosi is facing jail time? It's probably best to say she's facing jail time than she's going to get jail time because if they say they got Merrick Garland running around out here, he was in they held him in contempt of Congress. Obviously, he didn't do any jail time, but yeah, he won't release some audio tapes of uh, uh, of Biden. So it's like I said before, man. They make all this stuff one sided. Want to lock up one side, but then they side can do whatever they want. So we might as well just say Nancy Pelosi is facing jail time after she admitted that Trump had nothing to do with the J6 and it was all on her. Especially if you've seen the beginning of this video, you've seen the clip where she was running her mouth, she was being taped, and she would just admit everything that it was her fault. But yet, when the cameras ain't rolling, that they, they go on these shows and want to blame Donald Trump for everything. Everything. Want to blame him for everything. This is what they do. Just sit around and just spew lies. It's going to be a rule of law, and these are the rules. They said you broke all of these rules. Yep. Even if you had your preferred outcome, if they have to agree, because if you break these rules for one side, when Trump gets into office, we have to break them the other way. They're going to have set the precedent for us to go after them. What do you guys think? Does Do, do they finally get... Nancy Pelosi on this one. See, that's the thing, Doug. I don't know. That's the reason why I said we might as well just say she's facing jail time because it's best to say that than she's going to get because I believe Mary Garland's still running around. So we don't know what's going to happen. They pretty much probably ain't going to do anything, but but let it would have been anybody on the Republican side. Oh, my God. But their side, they can just do whatever they want, say whatever they want, nothing happens. For one of the most partisan public witch hunts ever against Trump and these four, even now yep. as they try to let Merrick Garland have a pass, even though yep. he too is in contempt of Congress yep. for not uh, releasing the her recordings mm -hmm. where, they, where the guy uh, uh, in the recording said things about Biden uh, and we don't trust that they were not redacted or were not edited in some way. What Shout out to Doug for another great video. Like I said, don't y'all forget to go to his channel. Subscribe to his channel. The link will be in the description. Salute to him. And uh, like I said, Doug, hopefully they do something to Nancy Pelosi. This woman, this is a woman that should have been in jail. This woman haven't seen a courtroom or anything. And if she done, she done done so much stuff that was bad. And then, like I said, breaking rules, wasn't listening to Kevin McCarthy. Knowing it's supposed to have been 13, but it was only eight. It's just so much stuff that this woman been doing that they just constantly let her get away with. And something needs to be done about it. Something needs to be done. But like I said, y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this. Thank you all for watching, especially the ones that made it to the end. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.